I wanted to make this quick video to show you how to clone content from your previous classes into a new class. Let's say if uh, you had something in spring and you have the same class in fall and you want to get that content over, and just bring the content, not bring the students or not bring their homework or anything like that, um, but bring uh, the information over that you put in the class so you don't have to re-enter uh, it. This is the way you would do it from your home page. On the left-hand column, uh, you see a thing called content cloning. Click on content cloning. It'll come up, filter coded by instructor, and most likely it's going to come up as you as the instructor. And here I have an admin tab, so it comes up a little bit differently. I'll just find myself, I have a lot of classes in here. Uh, there it is, I'll submit. It'll show all the classes that I have to be able to clone from. So find that class you want to clone from, click on that. Um, then that will be where it is from. If you are not changing the instructor, you're just doing it for yourself, which is the case if you're using this content cloning tool. Uh, only uh, the courses initially will show up that you have in the future. So if you want to clone it into there, pick the one it needs to go into, uh, click this other, and then uh, pick what areas you would like to, to clone into that class. I would suggest you just click all the boxes, the left-hand boxes, but not the the small boxes, none of these boxes in the middle. But these are just boxes on the side. There'll be new ones come up when you click things. As soon as you are done clicking through all of those, click Submit. And then that will uh, fill your empty shell of a class uh, with the information that you're wanting to clone. And then you won't have to write over again. You just go in there, tweak it, change it to fit uh, this particular semester uh, as well. One other thing I wanted to show you is if you have a course and uh, you are working on that course, you want to make sure that um, you click and let's say you click onto this course. This is a specific live course that I have, uh, independent study. You want to make sure at the beginning that they do not see uh, the class when you are working on it because you don't want them to go in and half the stuff's done. There's nothing in there or it shows up on their schedule. So click on settings. You'll go down initially and set the date that you would like to them to see it. Um, see the class. In this case, of course, it's in the past because they've, they've seen this before in this class. Uh, Empower will push dates from the beginning and the end of your class, but if you want them to see it before the beginning, official beginning date of your class, make sure you change that first start date to when you want them to see it. I would suggest that you delete the expire date um, so that at the end of the semester, if somebody turns in something late, a day late or something like that, that it just won't uh, turn off and not give, not give access to your students. Uh, so I would put the date that you want it to go live in here. Uh, initially, just go in, check and see what the dates are. If they're in the future, that means they can't see it anyway. Um, if you want it to go live, put, the, put today's date in there. Make sure that second one is blank. Scroll to the bottom, hit Save Settings. Once you do that, the students will not be able to see your class or be able to see it depending on how you set it. So you put that date in there, they'll be able to see it. If you don't, if you uh, leave the date in there that's in the future, they will not be able to see it until that date. So uh, hopefully this is uh, able to help you as you're building your classes. Um, please don't hesitate to give Tammy or myself, um, David Rhodes, a call or kick an email to me. If you can't get a hold of Tammy, Tammy is your first point of contact for this.